my name is Anne, and welcome to my Southern Housewife's Life. Come along on my journey as I discover life as a Southern Housewife. Our journey began in Buffalo, New York, across country to Phoenix, Arizona. And now, beautiful South Carolina. Stop by and say hey. I have all my stuff laid out for packing of my lunch. Bitchy's food. <laughs> and um, I'm going to go ahead and get busy. Unfortunately, this is what I do every morning. Um, I wish I was the, that person that made it the night before, but my nights are pretty busy and <laughs> tiring. So I didn't go home until 9 o'clock from the gym last night. Um, it felt awesome to get out and go to the gym, but by the time I ate dinner and did some research online, took a shower, I didn't really sit down till 10.30, and I ended up cleaning the kitchen as usual. with well, a mess right this second, but because I took everything out of the fridge, but, um, and, what was I going to say? So yeah, so I didn't go to bed till really late. Bo got home, I think at like 11.30 or 12, and he edited the video and I watched him. It's pretty cool watching him do that. And then I fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> so he woke me up. He told me it took him a long time to wake me up because I was zonked out. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put my meal together and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So one of the things that would be both thought would be interesting was showing you how I make my fruit juice in the morning. It's something that I do mostly every morning, unless I'm really tired and I bring coffee. I don't like bringing two cups to work, obviously, because I bring my water bottle as well. So this is how I make my, I'm going to call it a fruit juice because it's really not a smoothie. I don't have any protein in it, but I take about a cup of frozen berries. Um, I showed this yesterday, but this is from Cookland's. It's Nature's Three Berries. It has raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. As you can see, I'm getting low. I use about a cup of that in the morning, and then I do about two handfuls of spinach. I'll show you that. So right now I've got a cup of berries. As you can see how that looks. And then, because I have them and I don't want them to go bad, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of the fresh strawberries in. Again, it's just because I have them. They looked delicious. If I can get them open. They looked delicious when I was at the store the other day. And I just couldn't resist. See, aren't they pretty? Um, and I'm mad because I bought these for $2.50, which is really cheap. But I'm mad because when I went to Costco, they had two pounds of them. Absolutely gorgeous for this time of year. And they were only four four dollars so oh well whatever it is what it is so let me go ahead what I do is I'm gonna go ahead and get some water in here I'll show you to get it kind of moving because I've been just stuffing it all in there and then hoping that my little mixer will mix it but it, I'm having a tough time I'm having to shake it multiple times and it, it it gets kind of annoying. So let's go over here. My little coffee station. <laughs> Can you believe? <laughs> this is kind of funny. I was so tired. Bo woke me up last night. And like I said, he, he said it took him a while to get me to wake up off the chair. I was out cold. Um, but I came in. I always make coffee ahead of time. Set the timer on it. So when I get up, I have fresh coffee. I have to have two cups of coffee in the morning. It's just a must-have. So I went ahead and did that when I got up this morning. I was so tired. And I never put coffee in the coffee maker. So therefore, it was full of nice, warm water. So I had to wait for coffee this morning, but whatever. It is what it is. Life goes on. So let me go ahead and show you what this is all about. It's gonna. This is our, it's an Oster. And it just comes with two of these. See how the, because it's frozen, it gets duck up there. You gotta kind of mix it. There we go. Get it to break up a little bit. And it comes with the, two of these cups. Okay, 
well blended. So now, if I can get this off, I'm gonna add some spinach and some strawberries. And I'll show you what that looks like and how it goes. So here is the spinach in my little blender cup. Like I said um, yesterday, this is something that I like to get because it just gets my veggies, my um, fruits in for the day. And I enjoy it. I think it tastes good. I really wish I had lemons though. Lemon juice in it just peaks it, gives it a little bit of a sour kick. This does come out sour because not all the berries are super sweet. But um, I washed these ahead of time. I ended up washing them yesterday. But um, this comes out to be, I like it a little bit on the sour side. I don't know, for in the morning it tastes better, but I don't have any. And I like lime, not as much as I like lemon. I only have lime here today, so I don't really feel like. Okay, so that was about four, three strawberries, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this more with water. Okay, the only reason I do that is to get it moving. So it ends up being, I have about two cups of water with this on top of the fruit. Um, which is good. Give me one second. Okay. So hopefully this will move around for me. Let's see. So I have this, I have this concoction with my GNC Women's Ultra Mega Vitamin every morning. Definitely going to have to get more of those berries. So let me open this and I'll show you how it comes out. It's thick, but it's also thick because of the the berries being frozen so by the time I get to work I drink this it lasts me till I go to work at 10 so I leave the house about 9 15 and it lasts me till about 11 o'clock so nice and smooth perfect pour yeah so that is my smoothie and how I get some fruit into my diet. Real quick before I have to run, um, I want to show you exactly what I'm having for lunch today. Yesterday I'm glad I packed everything that I did because I ended up being out of the house for 12 hours and all my meals were covered. So snacks, meals covered. So this is what I am, clean up a little bit, bringing with me for lunch today. And then I gotta get my water bottle ready also. So I'll fill the water bottle, but I have chicken enchiladas and Mexican rice. Um, I put some of the Ortega taco seasoning on this, or not taco seasoning, I'm sorry, the um, Ortega taco sauce on it, because yesterday I just felt like it needed something um, with a little pizzazz. I think next time I make the chicken enchiladas, this time I used mild enchilada sauce, and I think next time I'm going to use medium, because I don't think it has enough flavor. Bo loves it, thinks it's good, but I think it could be a little bit more spicier. I have an orange for snack. And I have raspberries for snack or lunch. I have bell peppers, the little baby bells. I like those for my morning snack. And then, of course, Chex Mix for my little crunch factor. I always seem to have to have a crunch factor. And then I'll fill my water bottle with water probably twice today. At least get two of those in. I'm aiming for three, but two of those. This is pretty cool. This is a 24-ounce bottle that I got. Um, from Contigo. It's pretty cool. In order to drink from it, you have to push the little button and it opens the hole for us so it doesn't leak, which I like because I travel with it. So I am on my way to work, running a little bit late today. Um, what a gorgeous day. I heard 
on the radio this morning when I was waking up that it's going to be in the high 60s today and tomorrow. I don't know about the rest of the week, but I can get used to this pretty quickly. <laughs> and this is supposed to be South Carolina's um, winter months, so everyone would talk about how icy it gets and how uh, we, d we do get snow maybe an inch or two and they shut everything down here which is kind of funny to me if you hear rattling it's my my uh, juice and my water bottles um, but yeah Let's see if... no, that's not gonna work for me. so anyways um, yeah this is this is awesome. I'll take it any day. And actually, I spoke with, I talked to my mom last night. My mom and dad live in Florida. They live in the middle of the state. And she said that it was in the 50s yesterday. She was freezing. I find that comical. <laughs> and so it's kind of weird that we're warmer than them for once. So that was kind of cool. But beautiful day here in South Carolina. It sucks that when I get out of work it's really dark. I work till 7 but I like going in later. It allows me to get some stuff done in the morning even though not today. I'm running really late today and then it also um, when I get home I don't have to deal with traffic and that's the biggest thing for me so I, I'm not a fan of, of traffic so yeah so let me just um, this is my way to work. Take a look at all the... Go girl. Go girl. <laughs> it's a big hill to be climbing up, but yeah, it's a beautiful day. Sun shining. Um, my workouts with this place, or with this Couch to 5K app that I have on my uh, phone that I downloaded, it's a free app that you download and it gives you it's pretty cool because what it does what it does is it'll actually go you can play your music so I play Pandora and then it'll interrupt the music for just a second it'll do a weird kind of sound and it'll say start running so then you run and then it'll do another little sound and it'll say start your walk so you don't have to disturb or look at your phone for anything it actually talks to you so that's pretty cool so yeah so um i don't know where i was going with that sorry <laughs> but oh yeah yeah so what it has me set up for this week is an, a run every other week every other day for three days i'm gonna see if Bo and i could go to the gym on saturday i like to do some um, lifting on Saturday with him. I like to go with him because I, I feel a little intimidated in the weights part. He's taught me a lot. I know what I'm doing. I just feel a little weird doing it. But I thought it'd be fun if maybe we could go together. He's been running too. So I don't know. Maybe we could do something active. Maybe we'll go hiking. It all depends on the weather. I don't know if you can see this car over here. I'm going to try to zoom in. Look how much garbage is in that car. Holy mackerel. I think Mitchie likes this bone. This bone is so cool. It has like cheese flavor in the middle of it. He's going berserk trying to get it out. It's been awesome watching him. He, that's his bone over there on the floor. Do you see it? Right there. That is his forever bone. He's had that for so many years. He takes it everywhere with him. But this bone has consumed a lot of his energy in the last... We bought it Sunday, so it's consumed a lot of energy the last couple days. So I'm home from work, and I'm getting ready to do laundry. Not a big fan of folding laundry. I'll wash laundry all day. I want to pay someone to fold laundry. Um, it's something that I don't want my husband doing my laundry because every time he does, he throws everything in the dryer, and that's not cool. So it's one of those things that if he says he's going to help me, I ask it in other places and not the laundry. Um, so yeah, this is the laundry on my bed right now. You can see all the laundry. And then in the basket is what I have to put away. But um, this, I'm going to put away all my clothes. Hopefully tonight I have another load in the washer right now. So work was kind of fun. I work at a corporate 
headquarters, let's put it that way. So I deal with a lot of stuff and I deal with a lot of people and a lot of craziness and a lot of crazy stories and oh, over the holidays it was just really, really busy and it's today it slowed down a little bit so it was really nice just to take a breather but um, it's still busier than normal so I got a lot of exciting things coming up in the future for work hopefully but right now it's just crazy. Today was nice though. Um, <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, my contacts drive me insane lately. I've talked to my sister about it who's having the same problem and my brother, my brother switched to a one a day and it eliminated all the problems he was having and my sister just switched to a one a day and said that I need to do the same. So I'm on my last pair of contacts and I think I'm gonna take the plunge. I'm gonna <laughs> end up going and getting the one a days because this is crazy. Every day when I get home, I feel like I just need to take these things out. They're cloudy and gross and they're brand new. So I don't understand what's going on. So I gotta make an appointment and go to the eye doctor. Um, luckily, I like my glasses. I'm a huge fan of wearing glasses, obviously, but at least I have cute glasses <laughs> that I can wear. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna go ahead and watch some vlogs and fold some laundry and put some laundry away.